Hi viewers, welcome to Ganesh K YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to explain you how to create parallel L profile connection in Tecla structures. Just like this. Okay, let's start. Open your Tecla structures with US environment. Now we are going to create angles. So click on steel and select this beam. And pick the first point. And pick the second point to create the beam like this. Right click on mass interrupt. Now, by default, we have the I section beam, but we require L angle. So, double click on this profile. Now, you will get this property window here. Click on this option and select this angle. Then, you will get by default, we have the L 4 by 4 by 3 by 4, but we require L 8 by 8 by half inch. So, click on here, profile catalog, and minimize it and maximize this L 8 and L 8 by 8 by half inch then click on apply ok click on modify to see the result just like this then close the window ok now i'm going to create one more angle at this location so select this beam and pick the first point here and pick the second point you can see now we have one more angle here right click on mouse interrupt now for differentiate we're going to change the color of this angle so double click on this angle and let's take here class 2 then click on modify to see the result and close this window and click on space red click on mouse to w now we're going to create views so click on grid right click on mouse create views along grid lines click on create and ok ok now go to the elevation along grid b so click on this elevation on grid b and click on this arrow and close this window you can see now now we have the two angles at the same position so we need to change this position for overlapping to each other the angles so select this angle right click on mouse move and pick the first point and pick the second point at corner of this angle if you are not getting the snap symbol at this location so you need to activate this option snap to geometry lines or points now we can see now you'll get this endpoint at this location so click on here and click on expand okay zoom it you can see now we have the two angles and on each other like this now go to the window and select this 3d view you can see just like this now we're going to create the lap between these two angles with the bolted connection so click on this application components by using the shortcut control f you can also click on here and in the search bar type number 176 and you will get this type of connection component parallel l profile number 176 component so set this component and pick the main part as a, this top angle and pick the secondary part as a bottom angle to create the connection between two angles like this and close this window right click on mouse interrupt click on space right click on mouse redo. use the shortcut ctrl r and pick the rotation point and then you can rotate like this you can see by default we have the connection like this okay for shaded view you can use the shortcut ctrl 2 for shaded view you will get like this okay now go to the elevation on grid b so click on here and select this elevation on grid b you can see now we have the connection like this okay click on window and set this 3d view now we're going to take one more elevation along grid 2 uh, to view in this direction so take the elevation along grid 2 click on here and select this view list and elevation on grid 2 and click on here you'll get like this okay now go to the 3d view now we're going to edit this connection so double click on this component symbol you'll get like this you can see by default we have the chamfer at this location uh, but we don't require any chamfer at this location so we need to make it here zero and select this select this component and click on modify to see the result you can see now we don't have any chamfer at this location then go to the post tab 
here you need to change the bolt size so click on here and select the bolt size half inch and tolerance let's take 1 by 16 then click on modify to see the result you can see now bolt size changed in this side for bolt spacing and edge additions and number of bolts you can control from this option so go to the top view so you can click on here and use the view list and go to the planet elevation zero and click on here you'll get top view like this okay now we're going to change the spacings so for example we require the edge distance to inch and number of rows two and spacing three inch then click on modify select these bolts and then click on modify to see the result you can see from edge to first bolt distance should be two inch and bolt to bolt distance three inch and bolt to edge of the distance two inch you can measure this distance uh, let's take go to the edit and select this measure and select this vertical distance and pick the first point and pick the second point and place it you can see now we have two inch and from bolt to bolt in this direction we have three inch from bolt to edge of the distance we have two inch now coming to in this direction uh, for bolt edge to first bolt distance let's take two inch and the number of bolts we require two and the spacing between the two bolts let's take three inch then click on modify to see the result you can see now from angle edge to first bolt distance should be two inch from bolt to bolt distance three inch okay that's measure click on here and select this horizontal distance and pick the first point at here pick the second point at the edge of this angle and place it here you can see now we have the two inch from bolt to bolt click the first point at the bolt end and pick the second point at bolt end and place it here you can see now we have the three inch now we have control in lengthwise and widthwise in this side so now coming to this other side so click on this 3d and select this 3d view window right click mouse interrupt click on space right click mouse street view You can see now coming to this side uh, that means elevation on grid 2 click on window and select this elevation on grid 2 you can control the bolts distance uh, from this option uh, for example in the width wise now coming to the width wise so let's take bolt to edge of the distance we have two inch and number of columns let's take two and the spacing inch then select this component and then click on modify to see the result okay by default we have the same spacing so let's measure the spacing go to the measure and select this horizontal distance and pick the first point and second point and place it two inch from bolt to bolt bolt to edge of this angle two inch now coming to this in this direction uh, from edge to first bolt distance so for example we're going to take two inch and number of columns two and the spacing three inch then click on modify to see the result you can see now we're going to measure this distance so click on here and select this vertical distance from edge to first bolt distance actually we entered here two inch but uh, we have extra one by 16 and we can rectify this problem also then click on first bolt and second bolt and we have three inch uh, if you want to place exactly two inch from bolt to edge um, we need to reduce the one by 16 in this option for example you can see uh, to reduce one by 16 we need to enter here one inch 15 by 16 then select this bolt then click on modify you can see click on space real mouse to review now we can measure this distance vertical distance from edge to first bolt now you can see we have two inch like that you can change the bolt spacing uh, from these options then click on modify modify right click mouse interrupt click on space right click mouse review now go to window and select this three view you can see bolt size we have entered here half inch but uh, this option only for this side but uh, we don't have any options for half inch bolt change for this bolts 
uh, in that case you can change from another option uh, for example then click on modify apply ok uh, to change this both also off inch then click on this option self object in component and double click on these bolts you can see by default we have the bolt size 3 by 4 inch but we require off inch so click on here and select this off inch and tolerance you can change from here by default we have the 1 by 16 then click on modify to see the result you can see now we have the bolt size off inch yeah just like this okay you can measure this spacing also once again so click on window and select this elevation on to now go to measure and select this vertical distance from edge to first bolt distance we have two and from bolt to bolt we have three inch like this okay in the width wise also we're going to check from bolt to edge from bolt to bolt bolt to edge okay right click mouse center click on space right click mouse right view click on window and select this 3d view you can see just like this for render view you can use the shortcut control 4 you'll get like this okay that's it about how to create parallel l profile connection in tecla structures if you like this video, please like it and share it. If you have any doubts, please comment below. For more tech class structure related videos, please go to my channel, youtube.com slash SK. I will provide this link in the description below of this video. Please go through it and come here. Under videos, you can find out so many tech class structure related videos. I hope this video is might be helpful to you. And at the top right corner, please click on subscribe button. If you subscribe, you will get notification or updates when uploading a new video. So please click on subscribe. Okay, thank you.